name is Ivana Monacona. I am from St. Mary's Canada Catholic Church in Chicago in third grade. Um, and I will talk Psalm chapter 91 verses 1 through 16. He that dwelt in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say to the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God in Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and the noise of pestilence. He shall cover thee with His feathers, and under His wings shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, or for the arrow that fly by day, or for the pestilence that walk in the darkness, or for the destructions that waste at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, for it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked, because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high, thy habitation, there shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over to keep thee in all thy ways. He, they shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou so thy foot against the stone. They shall trip upon a lion and adder. The young lion and dragon shall go trample on their feet. Because he hath set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high, because he hath no learned name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With a long life will I satisfy him and shew him my salvation. Amen. Next, I am going to tell... Psalm 100, chapter, Psalm chapter 100, verses 1 through 5. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord all the lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know that the Lord, he is God. He is the one that made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endures to all generations. Amen. Thank you.